Hey, good evening everybody. David here, Scale Models Midwest. Welcome back to the workbench. As you can see, I'm tinkering here with the parts for the Tony Stewart Home Depot Grand Prix, which is part of the uh, 2023 NASCAR group build put on by Chess Model Garage and by Fred Henry over at Pappy's Rod and Custom. So I just want to give you a quick little update on what I'm working on tonight. Uh, over here in the back, of course, I got Smoke himself. Went on ahead and uh, got him painted. I will decal him and get him taken care of tomorrow. I'm going to use some weathering pastels and some uh, dry brushing on the pants and the gloves to kind of give it some depth and detail. The uh, spoiler I masked and painted uh, semi-gloss black. Kind of matched the box art there. I just have to touch up a few little things there, but otherwise that looks good. The front end, um, I've only done this once before. That was on the... Uh, Ron Keslowski charger from last year. I have a package of uh, Scale Scenics brass micro mesh, and uh, that's from my local hobby shop. I went on ahead and cut out like about a half inch by one inch piece, shot it with some flat black front and back, let it dry. And in the, pro in the meantime, while I was letting it dry, I went on ahead and drilled out the opening of the grill, sanded it, and shot a couple coats of the orange. And then I think, you know, just looking at it, it looks pretty good. Just got a few things here and there to, to touch up on that. The front nose piece, obviously I've got to paint black, but of course I've got all that underneath the paint black as well. I'm still kind of getting the ideas on where I have to mask and paint black that the decals themselves don't cover, even though it's a pretty comprehensive sheet. You know, there's some parts that uh, you're going to have to paint yourself. But ultimately, great kit. One thing I can't look at enough is how well they masked the uh, windows and painted that. I think that's just fantastic. Thinking that's like to me a level. And this is a, what, 15 year old kit? I'm going to tinker with the suspension, get it to sit a little bit lower than what it does. Uh, when you mock up the suspension parts, it does sit. A little bit higher than what the picture shows so I just want to kind of tinker with that chassis I got it half put together kind of did some uh, panel line color just to accent it and also kind of a little bit of scrapes and what have you as it bumps around Talladega or what have you um, and then of course over here got a pile of parts I have all that just painted, dried, just ready to start putting together on the kit and get this all buttoned up. This is one of the kits I am building. Um, I decided I'm going to give myself a trifecta of NASCAR cars for the challenge since it's going on pretty much the whole year. Uh, I am definitely I'm going to be painting and building one of those. I believe I'll be doing the uh, Petty Roadrunner. Uh, or I'll do the number 11 charger over there. But I had something come in the mail yesterday. Give me a second. I'll move stuff off the table and we'll put them out. Okay, so um, being a member of Salvino's JR Builders Club, obviously we get you know the kit of the month before anybody else does. But we also get these things called add-ons, which usually we'll see in the stores about the same time, if not before we do. So. Um, just kind of show you what I got here. First things first, the 2022 championship winner, Joey Logano. This is last year's Ford Fusion. Salvino JR got the contracts together for them and uh, they started churning out the kits. So uh, this is awesome. Uh, looking at this one, pretty sharp car. Joey Logano, no denying the guy's a uh, top notch race driver and uh, it's a great kit. I believe this is molded in yellow and real easy to do the decals afterwards. So that's a option for my third kit. Let me show you the other ones that came in. Second item that came in uh, in the same box was the Daytona winner. That's Austin Sindrick's number two. Uh, forgive the uh, light reflection from up in the ceiling, but this is again Another Ford Mustang, and it's Austin Sindrick from Daytona. Pretty cool 
Um, as you can see here, if you see the detail on the tires and rims, Clay Kemp shows how to really super detail these. I think Chase Avarice also does the same thing. So I'd like to replicate that if I build this kit, really if I build, or as I build any of these kits, because I mean, they're not gonna sit up on the shelf for long. I'm gonna build as many of these as I can. Um, it's option number two. Obviously I think this one's molded in white. Obviously the discount tire decals. So uh, this again should be a really cool kit to put together. Last but not least, this one also molded in yellow. This one is Ryan Blaney. This is the 2023 Ford Mustang. This one, if I remember reading the information right, comes with the ignition panel and the dashboard that's uh, been re-engineered by Jim Rogers. And I'm gonna have to look at that just to make sure. Jim Rogers has a uh, channel, Sabino's JR, where he talks about this kit. And uh, go check them out if you haven't already. But this one, I kind of like, I'll give you a little backstory. I like Ryan Blaney, I like Dave Blaney, and yet I like this, Menards. I worked for Menards for about three, maybe four years here in uh, Des Moines. Um, I liked working there. It's a great company to work for, uh, great people, and still are. Uh, some of the people I worked with are still there. And yet uh, it's a great place, I think. Um, you know, so this one I kind of, kind of leaning towards this one myself. But like I said, I'd like you to leave a comment in the description whether I build Blaney or Logano or Austin Cindric. This one, if I remember correctly, is molded in yellow. You're going to have to do some serious masking to paint the black. Uh, but you know, nothing that can't be done. Um, where there's a will, there's a way when you're building these kits. And again, this is Salvino JR made in the USA kits and uh, fantastic build quality. So really looking forward to that. As a Builders Club member, we see uh, extras. So looked at that and what came out here, I uh, got some Hardy's decals for the uh, 83 Rainier Racing. I believe that would be, I'd like to say it's the Buick Regal, but I could be mistaken. It could also be the Le Mans. And then of course, uh, the Junior Johnson 1986 Budweiser of Monte Carlo, extra decal sheet there. And then the Pepsi Challenger, which I built last year. That's also for Junior Johnson's 83 uh, Monte Carlo, which I think is one of the sweetest rides that uh, ever hit the track. And then of course, the decal. This is the first time I've seen this one. Born in a barn in Texas, the Salvador's JR. Get right there, and that's also what's on Jim Rogers' channel when uh, it starts off. So uh, I can't wait to put this one on the table. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the evening. I just wanted to show you what I had so far for the Pontiac. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll start decaling it. Uh, this weekend I'll have an update video. Hopefully I'll have the parts in um, for the other group build I'm working on. That's the under 1000 group build that's being put on by Rob over at Time Machine Scale Models and uh, Mike's Model Shop. I've uh, been doing some research on the Sudden Death Mustang 2 and starting to put some uh, parts grocery list together, if you will, and start ordering parts. I'll show you what I've ordered and uh, hopefully the start, parts will start coming in this weekend. Um, other than that, again, leave your comment in the description which one of these three Mustangs I should build as part of the group build whether it be Ryan Blaney's 23 Mustang, Cindric's uh, Daytona winner from last year, or uh, Joey Logano's championship Mustang. Uh, all three are great looking kits. I could build any one of them, but I'll build the one that you suggest, the, the most commented one. I'll build that one as one of my three kits. Uh, those of you who have a dog in the hunt for that NASCAR group build, I can't wait to see what your videos are like. So definitely as you're posting yours, um, I get notifications. Hopefully you, you're subbing and notifying for mine as well. Uh, I'd like to see what you're doing because maybe I can get some ideas from you. What you're building, maybe I can add some of that kind of detail to my kits. It just helps me make better kits and I hope that what I build helps some of you make better kits as well. I think that's what the whole model community is about. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see what you're building. And with that, thanks for checking out the videos. Always 
like, subscribe, share. Build the kits you want to build, and uh, by all means, show them off. And if you'd like to show them off on my channel, my email's in the description. In fact, right after I get done with this video, I've got another one without sound. I'll just have uh, some comments on it. Larry Landis has sent me some updated pictures and detail on the Sizzler that he has restored. Can't wait to show you those because, man, this kit is just fantastic. I've shown you pictures of them in a previous video. Wait till you see the update. See ya.